Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, April 20, 2021. Yes, this is the 1992 26 foot John Ford Hacker Craft Gentleman's Racer replica. The bottom is finished. We have about 15 coats of varnish on the side having completely stripped to bare wood, stained with Mike Mayer's low boat stain, sealed with four coats of Smith's, only Smith's, clear penetrating epoxy sealer, and then we varnished and varnished and varnished. What'd you say, Joe, it takes a quart per coat? A uh, quart for two coats. A quart for two coats. So now it's time to flip her over and see her right side up for the first time in a long, long time. So you see, Joe is affixing our winch, which has been wrapped around the boat and to the build stringer on the port side. Remember, she's upside down. So that rope is attached to the port side build stringer. And in theory, once we start pulling her in, she's gonna flip right over just as nicely as can be. So we'll shut this off now, and then we'll do one of those wonderful time lapse sessions that will knit into this clip and see you again on the back side. Well, there she is. I imagine it was difficult to see in time lapse, but uh, we've never had a boat. Well, we've never had a boat this long and, th and this narrow. She, her beam is, if I remember correctly, it's just over six feet. And uh, once she got going, there was no controlling her. And unfortunately, her gunnels are very sharp. So something to watch for the next time you do it. Make sure you have long sleeve shirts on. Then you won't have forearms afterwards that look like that. But she's over. We can see her right side up for the first time. You see we will have a challenge on the covering boards. But once we have a lot of sanding to do, We'll sand through those bleach stripes. She's all stripped up here, except that Michael still is fully enjoying stripping her engine hatch covers. But I'll keep working on that. We have one of them 95% done, and then we have this one it's interesting how easily I can walk right past it, out the door, leave the shop, and never even notice it's there. Interesting, huh? But, for the first time in a long time, our 1992 26-foot, 6-foot beam, John Ford replica Hacker Craft 1928 Gentleman's racer is right side up, and we get to start working on the gunnels. But before we do so, we will be cleaning up a bit, and we'll send her out for her lettering. We always do this, and she'll be hand-painted by Joni Alden, Colchester, Vermont. Vital signs and silk painting. If you need lettering done, there is no better. We'll get that behind us, bring her back, and then we'll start finishing her. 
decks, engine hatch, the hatch door for the forward passenger compartment. We have all of her hardware back from Mickey Dupuis, DNS custom plating in Holyoke, Mass. Shauna Whiting is working on her gauges, her gauge panel at Coshin Instruments in Stacy, Maine. So with that, we'll end this update on our 19, excuse me, on our, yes, 1992 John Ford 26 foot Hackercraft replica gentleman's racer. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.